welcome to the early mornings of wednesday the of the 14th and yesterday i took a trade and the second trade i just looked at it because like the first one was a loss and i was scared that i might have been acting off emotion but i just want to run down that setup just because it was not the first time i'm in that situation where first trade was lost and the second setup i didn't take it because it's not really written down, but like it's just something that I sort of picked up. I'm like, oh wow, so this happens more than you think type of situation. And I wanna start doing a lot of more of this, like trades that I've missed, I wanna be able to run them down. Ideally do them every day, like trades that I've missed that I feel some type of way about, like damn, I could have saw this trade. You know what I'm saying? I just wanna document that sort of setup and see like, you know, what it'd be looking like type of situation. Okay, cool. Uh, as you can see, new trading day. The day is here. But I'm gonna break that forward. Okay, okay. Looks like nothing might really happen today, but we'll see what happens. So the way I'm sort of trading the 15 minute is without the daily bias. So basically, I wake up in the morning, mark the Asian high, mark the Asian low, mark the daily low. Mm, not the daily high this low on tuesday i had a marked out right did i mark out this one okay one of those lows i had to marked out cool honestly speaking that's the one i had to be marked out um yeah this low on tuesday is the one i had to mark is yeah that's the i mean that's the low had to be marked out cool sharp then after doing that i waited till three quarter past three there I am I'm like okay cool we broke that Asian high <laughs> which is not this one but this one that's the Asian high right we broke it nicely here set it my order nicely stop loss above that high got triggered right there take profit one then take profit two we'll just be there right but as you can see, price tapped me out, no problem. Then New York session came in, we got this little wick here. Well, late in session came in and I saw this, right? And I'm like, you know, even here, you could have said, here, this one's not I saw this, right? And I'm like, you know, as much as I could um, mark this out, as much as I could have marked this one out like that, right? Me personally, I didn't know first take profit, second take profit. I didn't like that on second take profit we still on a 2.2 ratio. That means I had to like really stash it out. So I didn't like that reward to risk ratio. So I'm like, let it slide. Cool. Then, but I kept on watching price. I just didn't call it a day, you know? Because what really fascinated me was this long, wicked candle. You know what I'm saying? Like, sweeped out liquidity this side and sweeped out liquidity that side but left that one open so i just thought that was interesting but at the time i couldn't tell you where the market was going cool second candlestick also becomes a a doji then this candlestick is the one that made me go okay now we have a clear that market direction because i believe if like price does this gives you a body but like the wick is bigger than the body it doesn't even have to be like this it could be like candle like this You know what I'm saying? But as long as the wick is bigger than the body, that is like a reversal point, especially knowing that liquidity has just been taken out of this area. For me, I'm willing to, you know, take that trade. I'm willing to say this is a highly profitable setup. So, yeah, this is like a setup I'm really going to start taking, but I didn't take it. So, the way I imagine myself taking it is setting my order just below that candlestick. I feel like from experience, this is going to just have to be a market execution. Cause that low might have been broken already but yeah straight above that high we look at our first take profit one it's like that then take profit two it gives us a three but yesterday since i had the yeah i had this low marked out i liked that it almost gave me a one to four type of risk to work ratio but regardless i like that setup so yeah in hindsight that low was the wrong one 
first day is no is the is the one that I would like reason being when I used to trade in the beginning of the year when I was not one of my winning streak is that I used to believe like the most recent lows are the are like the most powerful right for example I'll take like a Friday's low over a Thursday low right but like if you look at here where are the Friday lows the Friday lows are within price you know Friday lows are within Monday lows so if that's the case let's go to Thursday's low and price just cleaned it out nicely yeah but with that being said thanks for watching um yeah till next trade breakdown yeah let me go for my run <laughs>